Hi, today we're going to turn a lamp and we're going to turn it out of uh, maple and redwood. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and I brought the tailstock up. I'm just going to go ahead and true it up. Just gonna clean the bottom up and then recess a little, little bit in the back. Use the bowl gouge to kind of clean it out. All right. Then I'm just going to take a flat scraper and cut a recess back here so that I can turn it around and mount it on the back on the lathe and finish the top. All right, and then what we want to do is we want to sand up the, the bottom here, sand that all up, and then flip it around and turn the top. I'll turn the dust collector back on because I'm just going to dry sand this. Have it all sanded up. I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew it and then remount it with the Nova Chuck. And we're just going to put it right back on there. All right. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, turn this, shape the front here. I'm going to turn the dust collector back on. This redwood's just nasty, dusty. Try and shoot it into the dust collector. Right, then I'm just going to come in with the clean this uh, hole out here just a little bit. With a bowl gouge. I think that's a uh, 3 8 bowl gouge. What it is, I let that dry up overnight. So I just came in maybe an inch and a half or so. I'm gonna come in a little bit more. Oh, this is tapered, so we're just gonna slide it in. And uh, I'm gonna go in, I don't know, probably two inches. I think that'll be safe. So I'm just gonna come in with a, uh, just a square nose scraper. Just bring it right down. Alright, 
there we go. I'm gonna come in just a little bit more. Get it. I'm just gonna go ahead and sand this up. Just finishing up with the 400 here. And then we'll uh, put the finish on it. There we go. You can take the, use the dust collector or vacuum to vacuum up all the stuff out of the pores before you put the finish on. That helps out too, or just air compressor, just blow it out with that. I'm just going to apply the same uh, finish I put on. It's just, uh, you know, a wipe on uh, polyurethane. Okay, and then we'll just uh, let it dry for a few hours and then we'll assemble the lamp. All right, all I did was buy uh, uh, an all thread for uh, lamp and it's, uh, you just cut it off whatever whatever length you want. And I just bought the, the top part and I already have a shade. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble the base. All right. We just uh, went ahead and put the, the rod through there. And we're going to go ahead and screw this on. Just tighten that up. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and run our cord up through it. You want to put the bottom piece on first, run your wire through it. And then wrap your wires around it. Whatever way that the, you're tightening, that's the way you want to um, tighten the screws. You want to wrap your wire around the same way you're going to going to tighten. All right, slide it down into there. down in there just like that all right there we go I turned the base out of redwood and then the body of it out of maple um, I the only thing I didn't show you was I need to cut a small groove in it for a place for the cord to go when it sits on the table so it, it uh, has a place to slide into um, other than that I got the parts at, at ace I think you can get them at most home improvement stores they sell just you know like basic lamp parts um, other than, and then I just I had the shade on on something else so there we go but and it works so can't beat that thanks for watching bye.